All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please take a look, stick around, watch some videos, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Join us for a live stream on uh, Monday nights at 7.45 Eastern. We have a blast. And this is another review, and this comes by way of Justin from White Mountain Knives. If you guys don't know, I'm a, um affiliate over there with Justin, and you can uh, go over there and get 10% off with code KnivesFast. And Justin sends me knives to check out, and that's what we have right here. This is from Kubi, and this is kind of a higher-end Kubi. This is uh, the gold-colored KB247E with S90V and titanium. Uh, this is the Kubi Dandy, uh, and it is a dandy. Ah, so funny. Um <laughs> Trevor's laughing in the background. Thank you for the sound effects, Trevor. We have uh, mill titanium here. You have kind of uh, nice lines here and obviously uh, some banding down here. You got the KB pivot uh, milled in there. Again, some lines up here. I like how they did that with the banding. That is really cool. Uh, you do have a milled titanium pocket clip uh, that looks like it can be reversed. It is not quite deep carry. You've got about... That much sticking out of your pocket, not bad at all. Um, nice contoured scales. You have a um, really cool milled backspacer. Now, what's interesting on this one is uh, you have an appurtenance there, uh, a holes there and a hole there for a lanyard post, and you have a drilled out area for a lanyard post, uh, but there's no post. Uh, so that's really interesting that that slipped out without a post. Uh, you do have this gold color. Now, there are... Uh, there's a gold and black. There's the um, regular go uh, gray titanium and a blue titanium, which is beautiful. Uh, and uh, the gray and the blue have uh, sandblast uh, finish on the blade. So a, uh, it says sandblast, but I guess they mean bead blast. This one's got the black blade. You have this gorgeous looking blade here. Um, I would call that sort of a Warncliffe an upswept worn clip, but we'll see what they call it in a minute. Uh, on the uh, specs, you do have a uh, sharpening choil here. Uh, by the way, everything is contoured and chamfered very well here. We'll talk about that more. Uh, nice, high, flat grind Kubi logo here. Over here, you have Max to Chuck's um, uh, Maker's Mark, and you have S90V on the steel. Again, you have this black coated blade. Doesn't look like, yeah, no, it is black wash. Definitely is black wash. Very, very cool. You have your lock bar here. Uh, decent access to the lock bar. As you can see, it is a long uh, lock bar with a plenty of relief back here. You have all kinds of um, milling for weight reduction. A lot of milling for weight reduction. Uh, by the way, the pocket clip has good retention. Uh, it does have this ball, and it tended to catch on my pocket going in, uh, and a little bit on the on the end of coming out of your, uh, you know, at the very end of pulling it out of your pocket. Uh, not bad, but a little bit there. You do have a lock bar interface and over travel stop. Um, it is a flipper knife. And you have decent jimping. Come on. Uh, you have decent jimping. Now, uh, we have this different stop pin on this one. You can see the stop pin is there. And a lot of knives have internal stop pins, uh, which this is an internal stop pin. But you have, uh, I believe this is called, thanks to uh, Knife Nerd, uh, Knife Nerdery, actually. This is called um, a garaged stop pin. Uh, it is uh, kind of concealed under there. And it comes and locks there, and it locks there. So it's kind of a cool design, but it feels like you have a lot of open room for junk to get down in your pivot there. Uh, but you can also get in there and add the oil fairly easily. Good lock face there. No problems there. Now, the lockup is probably at about a 45. No lock rock or blade play at all. Um, big, long, thin, slender knife. Uh you know, does hide down in the blade, I mean, in the handle pretty well. There's a little sticking up and plenty of room to get in here and, uh, you know, grab a hold of that uh, that fuller and get that middle finger flicked out. Can you thumb flick it? I haven't even tried it. Let's see. Uh, no. 
Yeah, you're not going to thumb flick this one. Uh, you might. I can't. Uh, I can also not uh, front flip it. Nope. So it is either a flipper or a middle finger flicker uh, for me. Very, very much so. Now, size-wise, guys, this thing is uh, pretty nice. Uh, I think, I haven't done it yet, but I think that's going to be really close to the Ontario Rat 1. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, that is Rat 1 size, guys. Check that out. Now, it's thinner. It's not as tall. Uh, it's also th thinner blade stock. It is monstrously bigger than the Rat 2, as you can see there. So there are your comparisons. Very, very cool. Again, Kubi uh, did a nice job pulling off a higher-end knife uh, from Max Chuck. Uh, very, very cool knife. Uh, let's just cut a little bit. I, I can tell you guys, it is very thin and slicey. Um, it definitely, the, you can feel a little bit of resistance because it's so um, short. You can feel a little resistance from that fuller, and it's only because uh, the blade is so short. Now, if you slice like this, uh, pulling the knife through the cut, it's pretty fantastic. Um, so, yeah, very sharp, good knife. S90V. S90V uh, takes an edge uh, pretty well, but it is a harder one to sharpen uh, by my, um, my experiences. Uh, it takes a little bit more work. Uh, to get uh, to to deburr it and to get a good edge, um, and uh, but it holds an edge for a long time, and it can take a very, very, very slicey edge. Now, like I said, there are three versions of this. Uh, they are all right at one hundred and sixty dollars. Let's talk about specs. Um, if I can get the uh, computer to cooperate. By the way, don't forget you can get 10% off using code KNIVESFAST at checkout. Uh, so you'll save quite a bit right there. 8.66 8 inches overall. Uh, 3.94 on the blade length. And a .14 blade stock. A little thicker, but it does definitely come down to a nice edge. S90V plain edge. Black wash finish. Uh, 59 to 61 on the HRC, and the handle length is plenty, 4.72. Um, and anodized gold uh, titanium handles and 4.10 inches, which for this size knife feels great. Let's show you this again. Plenty of room for four fingers. Nowhere really to choke up. Decent jimping here. Uh, feels good. You can get out here, and it feels great. Uh, right there, nice and contoured. You do feel the clip, but not too bad at all. Um, guys, this is a really nice uh, knife. I'm impressed with it. Um, thank you, Justin, for sending this one along. Uh, it's one that caught my eye because it's longer and thinner like that, and I really wanted to get a look at it, so I'm glad I got to. Very, very much so. So, uh, there you go, guys. What do you think? What are your questions on this knife? Let me know down in the in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. And I uh, really appreciate you, uh, each and every one of you, and your support of the channel and for checking this video out and for watching the Knives Fast channel.